Uh, Dave, I really on a one to ten. Where would you rank this? Because I know this is different for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, at the experience was a ten. You know, I've never wrestled in this tournament before, so that was good. I mean, it's definitely a whole different training freestyle um, and then coming back and wrestling folk style. But you know, that's, I went to this tournament because I, mean, I want to have some fun. Um, and it, it, it was fun, and these guys are, I mean, I think when I was in college, a lot of times guys were just, after a certain point, you know, they just maybe they didn't think they could beat me, and, and affect the way they trained, and I've been out of school for a couple of years, and um, on the senior level, and I just think, you know, coming back, these guys are guys I never wrestled before, I'm up a couple weight classes, so um, these guys came out and fought me hard, you know, every, every single one of them did, so, you know, that's good, um, I think, you know, just, I got myself in situations, you know, and that's what I really want to do. I wanted to come, you know, my goal this year, I kind of mentioned before, was to get 30 matches in. So today, in this term, I got five more matches, competitive matches against, you know, guys that are in my weight class, you know. And in college, you know, these guys are, they train, and they're, you know, to some extent, these guys are probably training a little bit harder than some of the international and freestyle guys are. You know, that's part of the college grind, and these guys are in the middle of their season, and they're ready to wrestle, and um, that's good. They all came out and wrestled me hard, and I think it was, it was good experiences for me and the guys that wrestled me. How good a shape are you for a two-day weigh-in? Even though I know you're up weight, I think that's I think I struggle with that a little bit. Um, you know, I've been wrestling 189. I've been spending a lot of time going up. Um, you know, I thought 197. Was, those guys are big. Mm -hmm. You know, no doubt about it. And uh, so I thought 184 was my best weight. But I got excited. And I wanted to wrestle in the tournament. So you know, I I registered and I wanted to wrestle. And these guys let me in kind of last minute. Um, and kind of with that being said, I didn't really have workouts kind of coming into it. So I just competed. Just you know, up, you know, the US Nationals was kind of our peak for this time of the year. And that was a couple. That was like 10 days ago. Um, you know, so, so coming in, you know, it wasn't like uh, you know, college. You know, you train for these tournaments, mm -hmm. and you know, just like, kind of getting used to some things where I'm in on shots and we just getting guys to the out of bounds. You know, here I got you know, actually just probably you know, especially in my semis match, this match I got in those edge, edges a, a couple of times mm -hmm. um, and just refreshed my brain on some of those finishes. I was a little sloppy and got in a couple of scrambles that uh, maybe I wouldn't necessarily get in on a normal basis, but those are good. You know, I, I kind of came here because I wanted to get in those situations. I wanted to get in those scrambles that I don't get in all the time. And Dudley's a good scrambler. We got a guy those scrambles, some of those goofy ones, and um, so it was good. You had mentioned the edge of the mat the new rules. Could you talk about what you, now that you've experienced these new college rules, what do you think these guys are dealing with? Um, you know, it's hard to say. I, I don't even know the rules. Okay. You know, so <laughs> I, I just know that uh, I'm just not getting, I know I can't get punched out of bounds with freestyle, so you got to get to the edge, and you don't have to be as weary because I know there's not a push-out rule. Um, I know there's stallings being there. I know one position that was weird for me is, you know, if a guy's getting away, you know, hanging on to the single leg, um, I wasn't really aware uh, that they'd start counting and you can get hit for stalling there. So that's something that's different uh, I don't, it, that I've never really been uh, you know, before. That's just kind of wrestling, which I guess is, I think it's good and bad to an extent. I think it's it's good for the guys that, that just drop to a leg and want to hang out there. It's going to eliminate that. But there's some positions that are just wrestling related that you know, I don't know if that's necessarily stalling. You know, you don't want to give up an escape, so you don't want to really let go of the leg. Um, you know, I saw some guys just you know, on, on bottom reach back, go a wizard, and the guys are on single leg and talk about a guy for stalling. I don't think that's stalling. Um, but you know, for the, you know, if you're trying to uh, promote more wrestling, and then mm -hmm. that's good. But you know, sometimes you get you, know, you get your referee's hands; it can be it can be up and down. You know, you don't necessarily know. It could be a stalling, it could be a stalling call. Um, I'm not part of it enough to, to give, me, give you an opinion uh, one way or another enough. But um, I think in this tournament, there's a lot of scoring going on, mm -hmm. you know, kind of from what I, what I saw. So I think that that is good for wrestling. Is this your last college match or a folk style match? I don't know. You know, I, I kind of joked around um, and throwing out an idea of throwing the rest in the Midlands next year. Just because I'd never wrestled this term before. You know, and I talked to him about it a couple weeks ago and then I was out here, you know, I was, I was visiting family and, and um, in the area and I figured I might, what the heck, I might as well just wrestle. But um, I don't know. I think it might be good for me to wrestle and, and get in these scrambles and, and just get different feels, you know. It's just that's one way or another. Um, one thing I'm not used to these guys diving between my legs. It's been a couple years since that's happened to me. So. Um, but it's good, you know. I, I think it's kind of like riding a bike to an extent. I was a little sloppier on top than I than I used to be, but I, you know, I can still ride guys. So you know, that's getting, you know, being able to get that man riding time is important. I, I tell guys all the time um, when they're when they're coming up, you know, when they ask me well, what's important about college, it's you gotta be able to get a takedown, you gotta be able to get off the bottom, you gotta ride a guy for a minute. You know, not only ride a guy, but get a turn. You know, so you not necessarily get as many turns as I used to, but I'll still be able to ride somebody. Um, you know, these guys gotta be able to get off the bottom, so maybe they can go back and get off the bottom when it counts, so, you know, one way or another, it's, well, I'm glad I came and wrestled, it was fun, um, and, you know, I appreciate the, the tournament directors obviously letting me in, and sure. my sponsors for giving me the opportunity to come out and compete, um, and my, and Jimmy for, for spending the time this weekend <laughs> coaching me and warming me up for the, for the match, and it's obviously something he didn't have to do coming off his right. victory at the Nationals last weekend, so, um, you know, it's good, I'm, I'm part of, 
really awesome family. Um, you know, they're all their support and stuff. Is Regarding your freestyle, what do you need to do now to beat Dave or whomever is at 80, 80 skills or whatever? I just think it's more, continue to get more matches. You know, that's one way or another. Yeah. Going up this big weight class, it's like putting a 20 pound weight on your chest and, and wrestling. You know, that's kind of how I feel. Getting so much weight so fast. So it's, uh, there's times when I feel great, there's times when I don't feel great still. You know, and that's not necessarily I think I'm used to. I'm used to always feeling good all the time. So yeah, it's just something in my head, you know, getting these matches in, figuring out what, what, what I need to do different. Maybe that's my warm up or uh, when the muscle blows, getting my offense more. Continue to uh, try and, what I can lose in my whole life, and continue trying to improve. And the good thing is, in this level, I have a lot of areas I can still improve in. Keep a good line of communication with Coach Bruce Burnett. Um, it's helped me in some areas. And, you know, along with the coaches that I've been with, you know, for a long time, they've helped me get to this point. I know they can get me to the next level. So just can't continue trying to improve as name again. Did you get the horsepower feel that you wanted to get? I think you got it because Dudley was just, he's huge, man. Did you get to feel the, the, the size thing? You know, we talked about that last night. Did you really get to sample that size and power of, of wrestling bigger guys with Dudley? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I feel good. I think in the situations that require, uh, you know, like strength, you know, I feel I feel good in those areas, you know. But I think it's just figuring out my leverage a little different. You know, I think for my whole life I've always had a ton of leverage, and I can, you know, and now it changes a little different. These guys are just bigger, bigger bodies, you know, taller. They're my height, they're bigger. So I mean, it's just it changes some of the things that I'm doing when I'm wrestling. So it, it, it's the experience, you know. I can go back and I can figure out what to do different. But um, yeah, well, I, I think these guys that wrestle, I think every guy I wrestled this weekend felt bigger than I did at the open you know, a week ago. So that's you know, kind of you know, it's the end of the game. You know, in college you're Probably bigger body guys, but they've been making 184 for a few months now, and their bodies maybe shrunk down a little bit. But these guys felt as big and as strong, or big as or as big or stronger than the guys that wrestled last weekend. So I think in that you know in that, in that you know for, for that purpose, this was, this was a really good tournament. You had to come from behind to win that match. I don't know when was the last time David Taylor had to come from behind to win a match. You know, that's you know, it's part of it. You know, you, I got in that, in that scramble earlier where I, I got the leg towards the out of bounds, and I'm just not used to finishing that takedown. Um, you know, for, for two years, it took me the leg at the out of bounds. You, you really got to push out and go back to the center. You know, I kind of hesitate for a second, I, you know, try to come back in, and he set the corner on me, um, you know, and, and just got a little bit of a scramble, and, you know, he scored there, and um, I was able to get a reverse on the edge. And, uh, I kept thinking I was going to be able to get a turn there, but he was, um, he reminded me a lot of Ed Ruth, you know, the way that he could, uh, Stick, stick on his hands and had some good balance and strength there where typically I, I've always been able to kind of get some back points in that area and I spent a lot of time trying to get back points probably sure I got my feet maybe a little bit earlier but uh, you know we got some of those some of those scrambles and it was, it was a pretty exciting match. You had your shoulders in a really bad spot in that scramble that they reviewed because yeah. they wanted back points in Nebraska and, and I don't blame them for challenging it mm -hmm. worst thing you can say is no you don't get the back points it's not like you lose points mm -hmm. but uh, in that situation how are your shoulders and, and is your flexibility you know, we talked, you bulked up, you know, you've gained 40 pounds essentially, 35, 40 pounds. Was your flexibility still as it was when you were smaller? I think I'm more flexible now than, than I've ever been, you know, and I think that's part of kind of what I'm doing with my training, but you know, that area, I was comfortable, you know, I kind of got in that weird scramble and, you know, I, I had my legs pinned, I had them on his back there for a while, you know, he had one, my arm, one arm off the side, but I was pretty pinned, I was waiting for, you know, the, the takedown, the back points call, we kind of, we kind of rested around that position there for a little bit, um, and I was just pretty comfortable thinking that, the, 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 you know, the reversal on the back points were coming. Um, and I thought after they reviewed it, I thought for sure they'd come back with a reversal on back points. Um, you know, it's kind of the area it is. And, you know, but I don't know, I can see maybe just because my flexibility is, you know, more unique maybe than most people. So, you know, most people wanted in that position, but I actually felt pretty comfortable. Like I was in control there. You know, that's kind of what I felt in my mind. I'm just, you know, I, was, I was pretty spread out and I'm, um, so it was just waiting for, for the reversal there. But, and it didn't come, but um, I think that after they reviewed it, it ended up being a reversal. But, you know, I think if you're going to reverse the back one's got to come after that. You enter this thing last second. They let you in. When you're going out there tonight, you know, it's nationally te televised on the Big Ten Network, which is nothing to you, I know. But <laughs> but is there anxiety still? Is there butterflies? Are you nervous even? Um, you know, I wasn't uh, necessarily, I wasn't nervous. Um, it's just... It's just different, you know. I, I don't know. It's just you know, for so long, you know, I knew exactly what was going to happen all the time. You know, all the time. You know, I had, you know, I had a, everything. Now is just a little different than it's been in the past, and that's kind of why, like I said, why I entered. You know, just trying to continue to feel some things out. And, you know, I got the legs on these guys. Um, try to get a little bit better with my finishes. You know, I think um, a couple times in the in the, in the uh, semis and even in the finals tonight, like I said, the first time on the leg, and then later in the match, I was on the leg. You don't under my legs, so just. Definitely have some areas where I can finish 
waited until I came here and I got in the position maybe more than I would in a normal tournament, um, so I can go back and I can focus on that stuff now. How much different was the gas tank situation here? Seven minutes, so much riding. Whereas freestyle, I don't think that I don't know. I don't want to say you don't expend as much energy. It's just different. Pace is different. Contact's different. The wrestling's different. You know, like you're on the mat for 15 seconds and they put you back up to your feet. Here's a bunch of mat wrestling. How much different was the gas tank situation? Yeah, I think it's just, like you said, it's just, it's just you know, different. You know, freestyle so much, you know, explode, recover, explode, recover. This is just, you wrestle for seven minutes, you know, especially, uh, you know, having to go down, you know, and, and, you know, go on the bottom ride and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's a different, um, it's, it's a different type of, of uh, I wouldn't say different type of wrestling, but, you know, I think for everybody that's wrestled freestyle and wrestled folk style, it's just, it's a different feel, you know, definitely a different feel to the matches. You know, freestyle is so much more like mat, you know, mat control and stuff, where this, you know, there's a lot more wrestling no matter where you are on the mat, which was, I was always the best at when I was in college, but now I've kind of transitioned more to like focus on trying to get the map control stuff. So, but I don't know. You know, ultimately it's it's wrestling, wrestling. You know, it was another five matches for me, and I was able to come in wrestling you know, in front of these guys that I used to wrestle for when I was in college, and relive some of those memories again, which was fun. Um, and now let's go back to the drawing board. We have camp, I'm going to national team camp on the third, and then I'm going to Russia and Turkey on a double tour. Then this month, next month, so have a couple days to kind of rest and recover, and, and then we have a pretty good month a month and a half ahead of me. You got anything else for me? No, I just want to thank everybody for the support, and um, it's fun to wrestle folks out again. Thanks for the time, dude. Yeah, thanks.